I would appreciate if you guys would subscribe to all the channels on screen. It is free, easy, and you can always unsubscribe at any time. Warning, there may be yelling in this video. My goal is 300 subscribers before the official start of summer. If I hit my subscriber count before or after the deadline, I'll chop down every single ice tree in one video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a unit chop system. Now, this system is not exactly 100% effective if you're using one by one wood. All right, well, if you have the one by one sentence on, but if you have one by 1.2, it should work just fine. So I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna get the materials that I need for this. So first, I'm gonna need 15 of this, not one like I'm gonna put for an example. 15, I need 15 of the straight conveyor. Um, I believe, I didn't come prepared, but I believe four of the tilted conveyor. This is tilted, right? Yeah, why, why does it have the dial on there? I, I, don't, I don't even know. Right, I stand corrected. I need 17 straight conveyors. Also, um, I, I'll, why did I struggle on words there? What the heck? One, one, um, tilted conveyor. Also, um, two, three, four conveyor supports for decoration. These, of course, are not needed. I am also going to need a lever, a button, not one, not two, not three, but four wires, and obviously one chop saw that this is literally the, um, thing that carries the entire, <laughs> uh, carries the entire, um, project. Um, also, you're going to need, um, the small floor blueprint if you do not have it yet. Also, you really do not need build power to make it easy to build with the, actually, I already have that, so I'm just gonna get that off there. Um, obviously, not obviously, but, um, it's really easy to build with a small floor structure, like even without the build power. So yeah, you can just basically use the units to build. Um, also, since I'm only like two minutes into the video, um, I wanna point out that this is only meant for if you have the build power. If you do, do, if you do not have the build power, then this is gonna be extremely useless and a big waste of time. Right, and all this stuff that I'm getting is from Woods RS. You can find like stuff like the wires, buttons, and le levers at Link's Logic, but why would we go all the way out there just to get stuff that we can get here? You know? You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I keep on forgetting stuff. It's a good thing that I'm still in the store. Um, also, get the table blueprint, long table blueprint, if you do not have it. If you do have it, then don't worry about it. Um, you're also going to be using this um, to put the lever and the button on, as well as like the wires are also going to be on too, I guess. Then you can also get a chair for like decoration. I I don't get the chair. I don't build. I should say I don't build a chair for decoration. It just gets in the way. I don't know, but you might need like posts or small floor, um, maybe even floor for like the thing to stop the wood from um, moving um, when it eventually hits the point of where um, the the saw can chop it. So. You, you might want to get, the, yeah, you want to get these as well if you do not have these blueprints. Tom is not going to be happy for what I did to his store. I don't even think he notices it. Oh, is he getting an employee to clean that up? That's great. That's great, Tom. Also, I'm going to be buying a fifth, um, go, what, what, what's it called? I'm forgetting these names. Uh, Tilt to Conveyor. There we go. I'm buying a fifth tilted conveyor because now that I thought of it, I'm pretty sure I need, I'm pretty sure there's five in the build. On second thought, um, I do have colored wires over here. Um, I don't know why, um, uh, Lion Nation gave me these, but I guess, I guess he did. Um, so I think I'm going to use the colored wires instead for like a little bit of decoration. I think I'll use a yellow and blue theme. All right. So yeah, um. You can actually use colored wires. And and even if I wasn't going to use the colored wires, I had normal wires here the entire time, so I wouldn't have needed to purchase four. I'm, I'm kind of stupid sometimes. Okay, so I stand corrected before. I only need four 
tilted conveyors. That's right, four, all right? Sorry if this is getting a little confusing for you guys. Also, um, what you want is, well, what I recommend is this sawmill so that you could fit in a pretty long and thick piece of wood, all right? Also, I also recommend a wide funnel conveyor, then a straight conveyor right in front of the sawmill so that it's easier to put on the wood onto your sawmill to go in, in well, onto the conveyor to go into the sawmill to get um, turned into wood, planked wood. This is a no-brainer. You're going to want to have to um, clear your um, surroundings so that um, stuff doesn't get in the way when you're trying to build this. Um, this is going to take a little while. Also, if you can't tell from this title, yes, this does work in 2022. Yep, 2022 working. Yes. All right, if this doesn't work, which there's a high chance, like an extremely extraordinary high chance that this will always work, um, but if somehow, somehow it doesn't work, then I will change it to not working anymore. But it's 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 a it's not a door bridge, so it's it's not like a, a glitch thing. So it's most likely gonna always work. A thing that I, I like a, a something that I usually don't do. I mean, not the rotating glitch itself, but something I normally don't do that I should start doing more is the thing with the truck. If you have a full truck, then what you should do is well and if you don't want to respawn it then or just do this in general if you could press r on the truck with the tiny floor selected and yeah all the stuff will just do that i'm gonna go and get some more straight conveyors i didn't keep track of how many more i need so i'm gonna get like i guess i'll get like six more and if i need more then i'll need more now the reason why that you want to put 15 conveyors um, attached to this um, sawmill here. I'm just going to move this to the side. The reason why you want 15, I'm going to, I just want to make sure this doesn't interfere either. Go right there. Okay. Um, the reason why you'll need 15 of these straight conveyors is because what, like, whenever you want to sawmill a big piece of wood, it's, it's going to be a long piece, like a long one by one or one, well, one by 1 1.2 piece of wood. So, you're gonna want to have a lot of these also um you can have this face whichever way you choose i think i'll have like i i, I think i'll have the um nozzle face that way and basically how you get these on is you just basically just oh that that's an up that's an up i screwed that up basically what you need, what you need to do is you need to just hover your mouse over the center so that like the tip of the mouse touches the conveyor it's it's pretty easy it lines up pretty easy and you should be able to do it easily um from against the sawmill like i just did earlier this video you can rewind just to see how i did it i'll do it again if you're fa if you're putting the saw the conveyors facing this way like me though um the conveyor will go this way by default so you'll have to just manually go in and toggle these the other way all right, I need four more straight conveyors. Now this, I don't know, but this may just be long enough. But then at the same time, I've actually sawmilled big pieces of wood and um, the the piece of wood almost like the skinny one, point, one by 1 1.2 piece of wood um, almost reached like from here to the sawmill, well, from the end of this to this sawmill. So um, on second thought, yeah, I'm actually, oh no, I didn't open these conveyors yet. I don't need to get more conveyors, good. But anyways, yeah, you're gonna wanna put 15 on here, all right, just in case. This is supposed to be a tutorial video where I'm supposed to be the one um, being um, intelligent here, knowing how to build this and sharing my knowledge with you by showing you guys how to build this. But instead I'm making myself look like a fool. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm no better than you guys just because I know how to build this, all right? I've, I'm just making a tutorial video, all right? So this is the 15th conveyor. I counted um, the nozzles, basically. All right, um, the next step of what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to unbox, no, actually, hold on. So I'm going to be checking JB Drag Motocross Boss's channel. Um, don't check the name of the uploader of this video, all right? All right, trust me, this channel is not mine. 
I can't believe I have to check back my video just to know how to build this. All right, so apparently I put it right next to the conveyor, right? Sometimes it's not easy to remember exact measurements off the top of your head, all right? I had to go back and check my channel anyway. Um, so, um, yeah, so one, two, three. You're gonna wanna put these all one stud away from the conveyor and like in the corners, so like diagonally, kind of, that doesn't look diagonal, but it is. Um, yeah, three on top of each other. My theme for this space is gonna be a whole like ice theme since I get ice wood all the time in this space. So I'm gonna build these in in the future because obviously ice wood is not in the main biome. It's not like I get it right now like that oak tree. Next, I want to open the um, chop saw, the orange box. I should have showed that on camera. You know what? I'll just put that back in the box. What? Okay, I guess that moved there. Um, T, I want to press T, R, R, T, R, R, until like the saw looks exactly like mine, all right? So do this until your saw looks exactly like mine. No need to pause the video. You see it right here, unless you really want to. And then, just kind of hover your mount. Okay, let's try a different tactic. Approach it from here. Yes. One more stud. Oh, that's a little too far. Boom. There. And then, as you can see, if you push this, it should go down at, at a good enough angle. Now, um, I don't know if this is exactly perfect. I think there i actually had it at a better position on um a base that apparently lost i lost and got back i probably should be on that base checking that design out but um i actually like this design a lot better because um well my opinion at least it looks like it fits this more all right and i'm pretty sure the other one's up higher so i don't i don't even get how it works better maybe it doesn't work better and maybe I'm getting this all wrong. I probably am, so just I'm just gonna go for this design. Next step is the table. So I'm gonna get the long table, rotate it, and then I'm pretty sure I have it right here. Nope, I don't, I was wrong on that one. I'm gonna move this. I actually had it uh, lined up with the chop saw. So I'm gonna move it there. I'm not sure if I had it. Yeah, I didn't have it up against there. So then I'm just gonna move it back this is such a scuffed video oh my gosh i'm gonna have it right here i think this is yeah i think that should be far enough all right then i'm gonna get my lever and then i am um, apparently ooh, is it actually i think it's actually rotated good so all i needed to do is press r twice and boom there it is now you're not going to be really needing to use the lever that much in fact you can even disinclude the lever if you want to i should have said that earlier this video so you could save your lt2 money but i guess you spent it uh, save it or save the lever around for something else if you don't want to use in this build then get the button put it on the other side or you could do vice versa but i don't know this is the layout that i like for some reason this reminds me of like a keyboard and mouse even though that's not even a keyboard and that's not even a mouse like what the heck is wrong with me sometimes nothing all right it's just it looks like a keyboard and mouse layout all right let me go get my wires here by the way you can use any dang wire in the game um I also heard that there's like very rare pink wire, um, so I guess you could use that too, but maybe you don't. I don't know. Maybe you would. I don't, I don't freaking know. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to do a design of where I'm going to have the yellow first, then I'll have the blue wire for this, and then the blue wire first, then yellow. That doesn't that doesn't even matter anyway. Um, what matters is the placements of the wire. So first, you want to. Um, you, you, by the way, you could do the wires however you want to. So first, you're going to um, place the wire there. Um, and you could place it, like, in, like, a bad manner. Like, you can place it very... Like, you could do it very sloppily. Like, um, you don't have to put much effort into this. Okay, you want it, like, down here till clicks. There we go. That's good. Not clicks, but, like, um, kind of, like, pushes. Um then you want to get this down here i'm just trying to make this look nice okay that doesn't look nice like down right there i think that that should be good oh that's still not good you want it nice like right there yeah that's nice um then um just get it right here oh this isn't like straight enough uh 
I, I honestly don't care. Then you're going to want to wrap this around. and I think this is... Yeah, I think this is it for this wire. So then I'll have to go get the second wire, which I'll get a blue wire. And then I'll place this here. And then I will... I guess for this build... Nah, I'll start here. I'll slowly just get up here. I'm going to leave some room for the other wire. I'm going to go up here. And then I'm going to have this tilt this way. So that um, whenever I trigger this wire, the connection will not go to the other wire. And then make the other wi wire light up. And make, make it look like you're also using the lever when you're only using the button. Now, of course, does it matter? No, absolutely not. You do not have to do this, but this is just for it to look nicer. This is looking so scuffed, the wood's not even filled in. But as you can see, it works. Look at that. That looks cool. By the way, I just realized that I'm using the colors of Ukraine. I'm not using this. Uh, I'm not saying I'm for or against Ukraine or anything like that, but I did not pick these because of Ukraine. It was just a sheer coincidence. So then I'm doing the same thing except I wrap the wire around there. Okay, so this wire, I use more wires, so then it's going to have to be pulled back a little bit. I want to get as much usage, usage out of this wire as I can. Good. Let me get the other wire. And then I put it on there. Oh, hold on. Then I put this up here. Then I will connect it up here so that I can turn this a little bit. And then I'll just turn this this way. Boom. Then they shouldn't send signals to each other. Right. Good. That's one. So this is the buttons. So you can press it for one press of a chop, which you're going to want to use like pretty much 100% of the time. <laughs> And this you're almost never going to want to use. This is really mainly for decoration. This is the option to hold with saw. I guess you could use it if you ever get spook wood going down that conveyor and ready to be sawmilled, I guess. Don't you hate how you have to go all the way across the a ferry just to get colored wires? That's absolutely tedious. But that's that. And it's a good thing that I got gifted those wires. The next step is to get um, the conveyor here. Now, I, I am kind of stupid, like I keep reminding myself. Um, I probably should have got the conveyor in here before, because now it's just going to... Yeah, I'm going to have to redo that wire. Luckily, I can keep the second wires. That's like more of the work and the detail is put into there. Okay, I forget which color. That's, this is yellow, right? And then this is the first one. This is blue. Yeah. So I want to put yellow first. I'm going to have to redo this. I'm not going to show you me redoing this. I'm not going to make you sit through that. So yeah, I'm just going to have this snake right here. This actually looks pretty cool. Oh, this, this ain't good. I'm going to have to... Um... Where did it connect? Did it connect there? I'm hoping it connected there. Let's see if it, um, this goes down. Where did I have this connect? Right there. Also, I 100% apologize if you guys did your wires before putting your um, conveyors down. Yeah, yeah, now that I'm thinking that you guys probably did do that before. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I'll try to warn you guys in like an editor's slide, all right? Now here comes the next step. You're gonna wanna put like some kind of like, I don't exactly know what to put myself. So what I'll do is, okay, so this is why that I did. I did two posts, well, what I just did now. And then what I'll do is, um,
What? That would. Oh my gosh, I hate how. How. Oh my. Stop. Does that not fit? Tell me. Just show me if it doesn't fit. Don't put this somewhere else. It. It does fit. Oh my gosh. All right. Um. So apparently that that's probably not going to be low enough. So I'm going to have to go a little bit lower. I'm going to keep those. All right. Obviously for like decoration. So then I'm just going to go a little bit lower here. And then. Yeah, I think this might be low enough. Yes, it it's low enough. All right. Um. Um. And there needs to be enough height for a, a one by 1.2 unit to slide into there and as you can see obviously there is i have a lot of blueprints to fill in next i'm going to place down this um conveyor oh, come on this turn conveyor here all right is this upside down no it's not all right make sure the toggle is this way obviously all right um next i'm gonna need another straight conveyor which i don't think i have any more of no i don't think so so i'm gonna have to go get some more I actually need two more straight conveyors so yeah i'm gonna need two more so again i'm sorry i didn't exactly think how many you'd need or where did i calculate the right amount no you actually need 18 all right i actually ended up only getting 16 i think i don't know the straight conveyor goes there and then next up comes the four tilted conveyors so let me just get those quickly i do not actually need five i have too many tilted conveyors um let's see then i want to line this up Whoop, stop yeah okay that okay that lined up good then i'm gonna get the next one and, mm, don't do that holy crap okay i'm gonna line it up there good all right, you get, <laughs> I raged in a tutorial video, in a, in a how-to video. This, that, that's just absolutely terrible. Oh my gosh. I didn't, I didn't rage that bad. Um, all right, so I basically placed all the, um, tilted conveyors. All right, oh my gosh, I'm having trouble with remembering what to say here. Um, why, well, obviously I remember, I don't even know. Um, but, well, I'm having trouble with saying things today. Okay, so one more straight conveyor placed here. All right, that should be it for the build. Obviously, I can't test the build because then the wood will get sucked into the um, the conveyor. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to Oh my gosh. This video is so scuffed. Whenever I look at this video, I'm probably going to cringe over and over again. So you are going to need a fifth tilt conveyor. It's a good thing that me from a few minutes of like 15 minutes ago knew that oh you probably are gonna need freaking five tilted conveyors okay five conveyors this truck's in the way now oh golly oh wow i actually did that pretty good okay that's it that is the entire build and yeah i'm actually going to go get some ice wood because i want to actually test this thing out to show you guys don't worry i don't need dynamite i could just glitch my way through here i could just have fun look i could just go right in here wish me luck guys i'm, I'm getting dynamite there's i actually can't get these through these rocks i don't know how okay all right all right that was very very stupid of me all right i'm not really supposed to get through those rocks so <laughs> I, I sounded like an idiot just a second ago Oh, and by the way, I realized I can't put, like, a title slide to warn you guys not to build, like, the wire things. So, if you guys are automatically going to just start building the project without even watching it first, then, yeah, I'm I'm extremely sorry. But it, it's fine. It gives you more practice on how to place the wires. It's not the end of the world, all right? I think it'd be cool if I built a door bridge out of ice wood. Oh my gosh, imagine that. I think, I, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'll build a safari ice wood bridge. Like, just, just make it out of ice wood. That would look absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Got to change this to 1 by 1.2. 1. 1. Okay, here's the first log. All right very good all right um you know i shouldn't have expected more from that ice wood doesn't 
really give you that much since Icewood is not really that. <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, that whole thing would have been sucked into one thing. Oh, my gosh. That 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 has to be... It didn't really jump scare me that much, but Lumber Tycoon 2 is not really meant to jump scare you. So, I guess that's the biggest Lumber Tycoon 2 jump scare that will ever give me. The biggest Lumber Tycoon 2 jump scare. If only I could title the video that. Sometimes when you cut the piece of wood a little too short, I, I don't think this is actually going to work. Oh, wait, it will. All right, good. Look at that. All right, I'm just filling in the wood. All right, this is the how people normally chop up units. Well, with a 1x1.2 1 1 thing. I'll show you in a second how to um, operate this um, when it's fully built. Here's a little trick what you can do. If you have wood, like if you don't have enough of a wood, I don't want to get too much oak wood either. Um, if you don't have enough, at, like right now I don't have enough um, ice wood to fill in both those things. Let me just very quickly just sawmill this. And then here is a different type of wood. I will get this. I need to make sure this is less. All right. So then I'll place the oak wood. Then I'll place the ice wood. Oh, that's 50%. All right, boom, there it is. Then, got to get a little, little more. This is going to slide a little bit. Oh, no, I got it on this side there. And then, boom, there it is. Good, good. Ice wood may not be the best example because it slides, but here we go. I'm going to try out some ice wood. Some owns my sweat. I'm excited. Wow. Can't believe I'm act I actually got this done. I mean, it did take a little while. It did take a whole hour just to record this video. I'm, obviously, the, the video is not an hour long. So, when the thing sawmills, the. Well, when the wood sawmills, the the wood will come out here. I probably shouldn't have made the, this that long because I'm probably going to mainly be building out of ice wood. But I might build out of other woods. So, boom. It just connects there. And then what you need to do is push the button. I feel like this is a little wider than what I have at my last base. My main base. I think I might have... I think this is better. Not gonna lie. You know, it gives you a little more room. So you could do like five, six things at a time. Six things may not exactly work. So I'd stick to only doing five um things of this at a time all right for some reason this bugged out so if it bugs out you have to switch it now if you have longer pieces of wood you'll have to like pick these up and like rotate them and like turn them so that they're facing the right way or whatever actually you don't need to do that but you need yeah actually you do need to do that um so you know sometimes you'll run into something like that um sometimes like the thing might get stuck um like the whole a uh, piece of wood might get stuck in here. Sometimes, if you're sawmilling something, it'll sawmill, and then you won't be able to pick it up. And you, you, all you will be able to do is you'll be able to kick it, just kick it, endlessly, just kick the um, piece of wood. So you'll have to respawn your base if something, some shenanigans like that ever happens. Um, I think, actually, that type of wood works in like a blueprint. Actually, um, yeah. There's not really much else I can think of. I mean, this isn't the perfect piece of Lumber Tycoon 2 craftsmanship. All right, but it is pretty dang good and deserves a video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial video. Wow, this is a whole half hour. All right, um, share this to anyone who needs help on how to build this. All right, this is a pretty dang good design, I do have to say. And I would use it. Actually, I do use it. All right, and this is made up by me unless someone else made this but i don't know of anyone else who made this as far as i'm concerned i made this 100 percent myself all right 100 percent um i made the design all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video all right well i hope you i hope this helped you guys